Just so, uh, what are your initial thoughts on uh, on getting selected for the NIT and, and your drawing looking? Ahead? Well, obviously, we're excited. Uh, as I told the guys, you know, there's 350 plus basketball teams. Only, you know, 140 of them get to participate in postseason. You know, obviously, you know, it's interesting because I've had some experience with with the NIT um, at, at, at Ohio State. We were able to win it in, in 08 and um, was a part of it as well when I was at NC State, making it to New York City, uh, and then was part of the preseason part of that uh, NIT as well. So it's a great, you know, great environment, uh, great place to play basketball. You know, it's a great uh, opportunity for our team. So we're, 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 ex we're excited. We played really well here late in the year, and, uh, you know, I think certainly our seed was a re reflection of that. You know, five to six weeks ago, I think a lot of people, maybe even a – a handful uh, in, the, in this group might have might have written us off, and uh, you know, for our guys to continue to fight and battle through uh, like they did and grind it out and put themselves in a position like they were in today, you know, I'm, you know, we're certainly proud uh, of the way that they responded. Um, you know, so we're we're excited about the opportunity. I think our guys are too. Uh, I saw that in the locker room when I looked in their eyes after the game. Same thing tonight at my house. So, you know, we lo we like one another. You know, that our team's very close. Uh, I've had a lot of fun coaching this group, so we want to keep it going as long as we can. Have you rounded up any video on the Boston? Uh, we're working on that upstairs, yeah. Uh, you know, obviously I just have the statistics and different things that I've already taken a look at, and they're, you know, a team that relies heavy on the three-point shot. You know, close to 40% of their overall attempts are from three. Um, and then I think they're top 30 in the country in total point production from three. So they've got a point guard in Watson that's number two in the nation in assist rate. He has 236 assists and 98 turnovers. Uh, the last time I saw that on a stat sheet, I was, I was coaching a kid named Cooper. So, you know, he, he really uh, appears to, without watching film, to make great decisions with the ball. Um, you know, has close to 50% of their team's overall assist. And then you look at their guys' ability to shoot threes. Obviously, when you shoot threes like that, you know, it's a great equalizer in, in the game, and it can make you very dangerous. From your experience, can it be hard to get guys up and motivated to play in a tournament that's not, not the NCAA's? Um, it depends on your group. Um, I'm not as worried about that with this group uh, just because we've you know, been really, really tough. You, know, you don't go through what we have went through uh, this season uh, and, and, and play the way we played here late in the year unless you're able to deal with some things. And, um, you know, it's okay, as I tell them all the time, to be disappointed, uh, but we will never be discouraged. And, and I think those guys have really uh, adhered to that, you know, throughout the course of the year and, and uh, obviously experienced and, you know, reaped some dividends from that, you know, with the way they played here late in the year. How valuable will it be? I mean, if you guys are able to, to win some games here and get that extra practice time, as you move forward with, with a lot of young guys coming back, how valuable is that for you guys? Well, I think, you know, the practice is certainly a part of it, but I just think the experience in general of having an opportunity to be in postseason, you know, every game's on national television. Um, you know, the NIT actually, I think, dates back to, I think it's mid to late 30s, maybe even before the, uh, the most recent model of the NCAA tournament, which I believe was 39. So, you know, it's been around for a long time. It has great history. You know, anyone that knows uh, a lot about basketball or is a basketball historian, you know, knows about the draw of, of, of Madison Square Garden and uh, what a special place that is. So, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity. There's 32 teams that are going to be, you know, trying to get there. And, uh, you know, we want to put our best forward, continue to improve, and keep playing good basketball. You were the guys over tonight. What was their reaction when you guys found out where you were? Uh, they, you know, they, I think more than anything, they were just, uh, you know, in, in, intrigued and curious to see, Marcus, who we, who we would draw. And, you know, where we would go next and who we're playing and, you know, all those things. Um, but uh, but they, they were good. You know, they, they, they've been good all, all year. Given the youth of your team, back to the experience you were talking about, it's particularly important hold on, hold on, guys to get a chance to go You'll have to hold. And, and if you keep winning, play a string of games on the road. And that You'll have to hold that big question. You'll have to hold that. Well, I think it's valuable to play in any venue at this point in postseason, certainly in this tournament, a well-respected uh, tournament and uh, you know we we, uh, we want to use that to our advantage in terms of building our program for sure you know whether it's home or away or neutral or you know I, I know this I know that we've played some pretty good basketball on the road here uh, of late and uh, I, I think that's a you know obviously that's a trend that we want to have as we continue to move our program forward so it's going to give us some opportunities obviously with the State Farm you know center renovation you know normally with the 
you know, with the two seed, you would maybe get a game or two at home uh, at minimum. But, but that's okay. I mean, we, we've dealt, we've been, you know, we've been dealt cards all year and we played them. And that, that's what we're going to do in, in this case as well. Do you know about the Patriot League? generally styled play do, do they have an identity style? well they, they, yeah they've had 18 of their 34 games they've scored 70 or more points they've been in the 80s multiple times they've been in the 90s multiple times without watching film obviously when you shoot the three at 36 plus percent as a team and you shoot that many of them that's probably the reason why they're so explosive offensively uh, I noticed that their their tempo was fairly high you know so you know, I, I, I'm more, I was more focused, Rob, on obviously what their profile looked like rather than their leagues, you know, obviously. But that's what their profile looked like. Any questions from the phone lines? Yes. Um, well, could you tell us real quick? I know there was a lot of people kind of asked why um, that the games couldn't be played in Chicago with the U at the UIC, or I know that in the baseball state bomb center, but well, to be honest with you, that wasn't even discussed. You know, I, I knew that, uh, you know, kind of from, from Jump Street, uh, when it came to this particular year and it came to postseason, you know, if, if in fact we were in a tournament uh, that required us or, or uh, gave us the opportunity, I should say, uh, to play at home, that we would not be able to do that. No consideration to any other arena. Yeah, I, that, that's again. I just follow, you know, the lead obviously of our administration, and, and that's what I was told, and I knew that. Um, you know, I've known that for some time, and obviously we're uh, again proud of the way we positioned ourselves here late in the year and how well we played. And you know, I, normally I know typically you would earn a home game, but you know we're we're well. You know, I was familiar with what was you know what the situation was you know from from day one. That was communicated clearly. So. You know, we're, we, we get to go back on the road. We've played really well on the road. We love the challenge uh, of, uh, of, of playing on the road and looking forward to the opportunity. Was the last game your best game, or at least the last two games? Was that the best yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, that's fair to say, especially both ends of the floor. You know, obviously you could, as I said after the game, you know, we out-rebounded, you know, Michigan. We had nine turnovers. We were plus 18 points in the paint, plus 10 on second chance points, shot a higher percentage. You know, we we uh, we did a good job, I thought, defending the three overall. Although they made 10, it took them 30 attempts uh, to make those 10. I thought we, you know, I thought we played really well. I thought, quite honestly, we played good enough to win, and it just didn't happen. Anything else? All right.